Idiot. What, man? All right, we got the talon here. We're fixing some of the big, what I'll call, deficiencies that the talon comes equipped with from the factory. What are those, Matt? Uh, stock gauge cluster positioned in the center. Yeah, so Can't that's really a, see it. Yeah, that's a bad deal. So one of my biggest gripes with the talon is like Matt said, the stock gauge cluster in the center console is useless, especially if you like jumping the machine. Hugely important to be able to monitor the speed which you're going at when you want to send a jump. Allows you to kind of ramp up to it. And you know, it's always just good to know uh, how fast you're going wherever you're going. So we're going to uh, use this Avenger kit. It relocates the stock dash to right above the uh, steering wheel or steering column where it should be, where most normal people would want it. And it's going to allow you to see it. So that shouldn't be too big of a deal. They give you a nice uh, switch plate to fill in where the stock dash is. So that's going to look clean. And what else do we got today? Uh, the i4 will drive. Oh, four times four. So this is a very uh, simple to install kit. Comes with this nice wiring harness and this rocker switch. It just goes in line with the factory wiring. Plug and play. Plug and what play. We like. So thanks to our friend Turbo Brian for getting us set up with that. Good dude, appreciate you. But let's get to the install on this. Both these kits come with really nice instructions, so this shouldn't be too big of a deal. I think when we're done, we'll take this out on the pond and uh, maybe do some cyclones with it, with the new, newly found full-time 4x4. What do you think about that? You can go ahead and do that. Oh my <laughs> gosh, all right. Maybe I will, we'll see. All right, we got the hood off. We're diving deep in here. So there's three screws that hold in the factory dash. Matt is just working on getting those removed now. There's one. Can't really see the others, but they're in like a triangular pattern. So once those are out, sounds like the factory dash should come out. Yeah. Biggest S talker on the face of the internet is here. Oh boy. Someone's gotta do it. All right, where are we at with this thing? You got that dash out or what? Yeah. Doesn't look like it. Oh, I'm seeing some. I thought I saw some daylight in there. It moves. Okay. It's still something holding it. Did we miss that in the destructions or did the destructions miss us? Oh, well, there's uh, another screw. Looks like. Oh, okay. All right, stand by. We'll get the screw and then it'll be good. Hey, turns out we pulled the wrong screws out. No big deal though. Uh, we're gonna pull this upper panel off to give us a little bit more room and it'll allow us to easier access the actual screws that we need to get to. I mean, you can't even see them from anywhere up here. So we're gonna pull that, I don't know what you'd call this, secondary hood piece, I don't know, piece of plastic, whatever. We're gonna lift that up at least and gain some more access and then we'll get her no problem. <laughs> All right, here's the deal. Just go ahead and save yourself the trouble. Just pull that hood piece off because they are still, I mean, I'm gonna try and see if I can see it. The lighting, I, oh, there's one right there. See that? Yeah, so one right there, one on the other side. That's what you need to get to, to get that dash out. So pretty much no way you're doing that with that hood piece on, just pulled off with those two screws out and then the stock dash will come out. All right, three bolts are out. Is that dash gonna come out for us now or? A lot of dirt. I don't believe that. This thing's been treated with the utmost respect and care. Pull this rubber up. Which on that note, this talent one of the toughest machines, if no, it's the toughest machine available. I'll say it. I've done some dumb things and it's held up just fine. There's your little cluster. Yeah, okay, so yeah, there's the plug and then we have this extension harness that will allow us to route it up to the steering column. Really nice piece, all terminated well. So I'll get this thing unpackaged and we'll move on to the next step of getting that over to the steering column. All right, we've got the base plate installed on the steering column. Now we're putting the extension harness on the back of the dash and we've got the rubber boot that will go over this and then it can go back into, into this housing 
and the dash will attach to the housing via these included screws. There's some plastic spacers that go in between uh, the dash and the plate to uh, take up the slack that's there. Yeah, pretty nice kit. It, uh, I was playing around with it earlier. It takes a little finessing to get the dash to sit in here right because the edges are kind of tapered. So it's uh, probably take you a little bit to make sure it's square in there and looking good. But overall, not a big deal. Put some dielectric grease on there. Doubles? Yeah, so similarly to how a traction control system works in an automotive application, that's kind of how the i four wheel drive system works in the Talon, and uh, that's what this override is going to be bypassing. So it just goes in line, uh, like I said earlier, with the factory connectors, and it'll prevent the uh, brake being applied to whatever wheel the ECU determines it needs to be applied to. So that'll be cool. We'll be getting to that in a second. Matt's looking for some uh, silicone and electrical tape to uh, seal up that factory grommet that we had to cut. And then the dash will be in. And we just got to worry about this plate. We're going to mount the uh, I four wheel drive override on the new plate. So we'll have to do some cutting there to fit the switch in. And then we'll be going back together. Overall, this is pretty easy installation though for both of these things. Nothing you can't accomplish with simple hand tools. Now, if you guys got a uh, Colorado or Canyon with a blown up engine, Mike wants to buy it, let us know. <laughs> All right, so Matt's got the dash inside the new housing. Got it routed with the factory grommet in there. Gonna slide through the base that he has bolted to the steering column right now. Just tightening up the screws that are gonna hold the dash in with the spacers. Yeah, how are you feeling about this so far? Looks pretty good. You got your spacers there. Dash looks nice in there. Yeah, so it was a little bit of a struggle to uh, actually get the dash with this harness in there. Took a little bit of uh, force, but once it got into position up here, it seemed to move pretty good. So mm -hmm. We'll get to bolting that down and routing that harness, and that should be it for that. We'll move on to the I four wheel drive override. All right, we got her installed. It's all bolted in, got the wiring routed through the backside there. It goes behind the dash. You can see there, tie it up with some zip ties, keep it from falling down. Mm -hmm. No big deal, let's see how she looks. We got her all plugged in. I mean, I can tell this is going to be a huge improvement already. Yeah, that's really nice. From a functional standpoint, I mean, yeah, can't be much better. That's gonna be, ooh, I mean, I'm getting excited to jump this thing. Just looking at this right now. It's been, man, just hard to explain how big of an inconvenience it was when you're, you know, coming up to a big run on a jump and you're trying to look over, you're trying to maintain speed. Just real inconvenient, this solves that. Nice kit. Well, I think that's it for uh, this part of the install. I need to take the included plate from the Avenger kit and get a hole drilled in that for our switch. And then we'll be able to install that. And that Avenger, or, uh, the Hess kit, I mean, is real simple. It's just a couple inline connections. So like Should I said, plug quicker. and play. Yeah. So if you want to work on that, I'll get to drilling that switch plate out and then we'll go rip the sucker. All right, we're working on this I four wheel drive bypass and by we, I mean, Matt is. So he's got the wires routed through the car, kind of. Uh, we started here, so this is plugged into this factory connector for your accessories. And what's nice about this is it kind of tees off, and if you do have other accessories, it would allow you to use them. We don't have those right now, but it's in the future, we got it. Off. Yeah, so we put the factory cap back over it, and then following the wiring, we go down to the passenger side of the machine. So that actually plugs in. There should be a connector that goes to this sensor behind this cover that has two push pins in it. It says there's an orange connector, so we'll take those push pins out and see if it's actually there and plug it in. Hey, no big deal. It's gonna be a plug and play deal. Just gonna go in line of that factory connector. Mike's over there grinding on some stuff that I ruined, so. I'll allow the actual noise that's happening in the background, no problem. 
All right, green connector, not orange. We just struggled with this thing for probably 20 minutes just because it was so filled with mud, dirt, general yuck. But we got it apart, and we did that by spraying, what do we use, just electrical parts cleaner? Uh, brake clean. Brake clean, just soaked her with some brake clean. That uh, forced the junk out. So now, that's just finishing up. Gonna blow out that connector before we put this in line. So one end's gonna plug on the body side, the other end is gonna plug on the differential side. That'll be it, then we'll just tidy up this wiring with some zip ties and we'll be ready to go back together. I got the switch installed, that was a big ordeal. Mike had to uh, come to the rescue and do some patchwork, but hey, turned out pretty good. Switch lights up and everything. Whoops, wrong way. <laughs> A few minutes later. How's that? Pretty dizzy. This will be working good though. I mean, the Talon is not uh, not a super high horsepower unit, so not really expecting the uh, the cyclone speed that we would from an X3 or uh, you know the CF1. But hey, a lot of fun out there. Dash is definitely a huge improvement too. It's uh, yeah, just so much more convenient to be able to see. Right in front of you, not have to, you know, take your eyes off the road, so to say, to get the information you need. Good units. Overall, real happy. So, if you guys want that uh, dash relocation kit from Avenger, we can get you taken care of there. Sidebysideblogparts.com. Good units. Available with several different uh, switch panel options if you have some rocker switches already installed. Or if you're going to be installing them, we got you covered. What else can you ask for? <laughs> That's a pretty good jump. I don't know what it is about him, this hill, and that machine. But... Oh boy. yeah those were pretty good uh, can't really go much bigger we have a bunch of uh, wood over there tree branches stumps whatever you want to call it in the way and uh, yeah go much bigger gonna be running into those at the end of the day so all four tires are still on the wheels after that listen end of the day rich rules baby <laughs> see you later <laughs>